All right, guys, welcome back to uh, the final challenge that uh, is going to help us come to the conclusion of who is better, a Green Beret or a Navy SEAL. Now, like I told you guys earlier, uh, Navy SEALs don't really worry, don't really concern themselves with tactics or, um, <laughs> or hitting the target or any, we just want to look cool, man. So we're gonna we're gonna run a drill here where we look cool, and uh, where we get to kind of flaunt our physique and our fitness, right? You know, one thing I can't stand about Green Berets, man, they just aren't in good shape. They just I aren't know, in as man. good a shape as Navy Seals, man. And uh, you know, that's what matters is being in good shape. That's all that really matters, you know, because if you're in good shape. You look good with your gun belt on and you know, so you know, that's what this drill is going to be all about. This is my, this is my brainchild right here and I call it the full send, full send, all right? If you walk down in them woods down there, you'll find a cone. <laughs> that cone is 100 yards from that cone on the range, which is at the seven yard line, all right? So for the full send, we'll load and make ready here on the range, holster our weapon, we'll move back to the 100 yard cone in the woods back there. When the time goes off, your full send, it's a full sprint, 100 yard sprint to the seven yard line. When you get to the seven yard line, you're gonna draw your weapon from the holster and you are going to empty three full 17 round mags, that's 51 rounds total, into the target, all right? I don't care where you hit the target because I don't care about being accurate. I want to look cool while I'm doing this. And when I dump 51 rounds out of this Glock 34, it's going to look really cool, man. All right? Full mag, mag change, full mag, mag change, full mag, oh, and you man. should be dry. Okay, I got it. Any shots that go outside of the silhouette, yeah. one second penalty, all right? But as long as you hit in the silhouette, it counts. We don't have to aim for that little red circle anymore. All right. We're going to look awesome doing this, guys. So this is the full send. Are you ready for this, man? <laughs> yeah, man. Roger I that. Think so. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, boy. Shoot it right. Stand by. Go. Here we go. Now, if that don't, Clear if that don't look cool, I don't know what does, son. What's my time, Edgar? 33.47. 33.47. Yeah, you look like, well, you got dropped a couple low, but they, other than that, they were all in the C zone or the or the down one zone. So that's actually not bad for I what think, you're doing. I think 30 seconds is a good time standard for the full send. Yeah. Three seconds short of what I thought I should have been able to do. Right. God, I hope I win this. This it's gonna round. take me this much time to get here. <laughs> I don't mind shooting it. All right, guys, we're gonna break. Edgar's gonna get set. Yeah, we're gonna see I'm what gonna he's hang got. A new target too. <laughs> Edgar, stand by. Bust him! Bust him! <laughs> here he comes. Nice work, brother. Stay with it. Good ammo, man. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. 
4437. 4437. Everything in the silhouette, including a good headshot. Nice tight group. Yeah, the malfunctions hurt me though. Yeah, they hurt you for sure. They hurt you for sure. What was that three or four? You had three or four malfunctions, yeah. Uh, nice work, man. Well, all right, guys. Uh, you saw it. We'll show you the two targets side by side here in just a second. So you saw it that when it comes hey, to talk now. Hold on. When it comes to looking cool and going fast, you can't touch the old baby <laughs> steel, man. Yeah. How'd you like that drill? I tell you what, man. Just running it, he saw my cadence slow down a little bit toward the end there. Yeah. Started getting a little, a little loose. And the malfunctions got in my head a little bit. Oh yeah. And then I had one that I cleared in it stove pot. I saw it stove pot, yep. Had to double, double do it there. That's all right. Well, you know, generally too, um, Generally, too, seals they they have more money because of the books they sell, uh, so they can afford, <laughs> they can afford to buy good ammo. ammo. So you get what you pay for, gentlemen. That's another Ladies. thing we didn't even take into consideration yep. on the last challenge. Equipment yeah. selection matters. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, man. If you uh, if you want to see more, uh, send us in what you want to see. If you want to see more of Edgar and I competing against each other and trying to really nail down who is better, the SEAL or the Green Beret. Drop it in the comments. Let us know what you want to see. We're all for getting after it out here. And uh, I, hope you, I hope you got something out of it and uh, at least got a laugh out of it. Um, if you don't know Edgar, Edgar, check him out at OspreySchootingSolutions.com. We are 307 Project. Check us out at 307project.com. Edgar runs a lot of awesome training out here on this exact range, and uh, he's a great resource for all you guys watching this. Um, got anything to say, brother? No, thanks for watching. Come on out. Enough said.